Hey everyone, see Keith Nitro. I'm going to be doing an engine disassembly video. I've got this uh, Traxxas 3.3. Just show you how to take it apart. Just need some common RC tools, a couple hex wrenches, a screwdriver, a couple multi tools. So I'm going to start by taking off the clutch bell. Take the C-clip off. I'll just lay out the parts as I go. You got clutch bell bearings and shims. Take off the clutch pads. Pretty simple, just pull them off. Now to take off the flywheel, I just hold the flywheel, some channel locks, use a multi tool, just break that loose. I'll lay it out on some uh, towel here so you can clean all these parts up once I'm done. So the flywheel, I just give it a little tap. Comes right off. <clears throat> like I said, I'll clean all those parts up later. <clears throat> see, as you can see here, there's lots of like dirt and fuel. This is telling me my uh, front bearing is shot. So we'll give that a wipe and carry on. Okay, so I have it all wiped up. So I need to take off this uh, the flywheel coilet. I just put a screwdriver in there and give a little twist and pull up. And just separate it, <clears throat> pull that off. Okay, we'll get rid of this pull start. <clears throat> I'm cheating here using a little electric screwdriver. I don't recommend you. Reassemble <clears throat> with the electric screwdriver. Off comes the pull start. One way bearing still in there. If you take that out, remember the direction uh, numbers towards the engine. Yeah. Alright, for the carb, on the 3.3, there's a little nut there, so I've got to break that loose. I'll just use the Traxxas multi-tool. So loosen that off, a few turns. What I do is I just give it a push, it kind of breaks the, breaks the seal off your carb. This one has been sealed so there's the old silicone. Get rid of that. Make sure it's all cleaned up. Set that aside and uh, we'll clean it up. Okay, now for the head. 3.3's got this protector on it so I'll just get rid of all that. <clears throat> I 
This should just pop off until the screws are out. Okay, keep those together, set it aside. Little wipe. Now you can get at your cooling head uh, screws. Those will be it. Okay, so remember those screws, <clears throat> five of them there for the cooling head. Now you will have some shims on the bottom of this. Let's give this a wipe. There. I'm just going to leave the shims on there. They're pretty thin, pretty bendable. So I'll just leave them as is. Set it to the side. I'll just pull these out. There's four of them. Not every engine is the same, so you'll uh, check your manual or your exploded views and whatnot before uh, pulling your engine apart. Some of them you need the piston all the way up to get this back plate off. The 3.3 three doesn't. So those four screws out. Here's your black plate and your starter shaft. So yeah, I'll put that aside to clean it up. Now you can see inside the engine. Crank and whatnot. So now we gotta pull the sleeve out. Put the I will not back on. Give me a little more, a little more torque to pop this sleeve out. Take that back off. Doesn't take much force, but it takes a little bit. Pull out your zip tie there. Oh, this should just come out nicely. See, it looks good. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a. Uh, you can see that there's some grime built up in there. We'll clean all that up. Okay, now as for your getting your piston out, I like to put it to the top and I'll just pop and I'll hold the thing all in one. There just come off the crankshaft 
Now, you got to remember direction. See the side profile of that? The long part of the piston has to go to the back of the engine, to the exhaust. So just remember that when you uh, go to reinstall it, the orientation of the piston. Then the crank just push it through, crank comes right out, there, that's all there is to uh, disassembling a nitro engine.